Everybody knows that if you eat too much of the wrong things and you spend most of your free time sitting at a desk or laying on a couch, you're not gonna have the best fitness outcome. But do you really understand the four ratios of food to fitness and how you can use them to help navigate the holiday season? Before we dive any deeper into this, understand that none of these are inherently bad and you can use any one of these four at different times throughout your training process. When we're talking about the four ratios of food to fitness, the general idea is the balance between your food intake and your amount of physical activity. I think this one's pretty obvious. If you ingest way more calories than you burn on a regular basis, then you're gonna gain fat over time. Welcome to the situation that most people find themselves in over the holidays. The other relationship between food and fitness that isn't necessarily good over time, but not everybody really realizes, is a high level of activity and a low level of food intake. Now, short term, it may help you drop weight, but it's gonna lead to burnout, and we can't really guarantee that that's good weight lost. For most people, when they get super restrictive with a crash diet and super intense exercise, not only are they gonna lose fat, but they're gonna lose their mind. The two ratios of food to fitness that we want you to focus on through the holiday season is a high amount of activity and higher food intake, and a low amount of activity and lower food intake. The whole idea here is that we just wanna balance your input and output. Output is simple. It's your performance, your physical activity in the gym and outside. Input are really anything that's gonna help you recover. So nutrition, sleep, hydration, and any activities you do to help you de-stress. If this balance is off, you're gonna have negative consequences, not only in the long term leading towards burnout, but in the short term by not achieving your goals. The one variable that we have to take into account during the holiday season is stress and just a more constrained schedule. So even if you love the holidays, you walk around with antlers on and you play Christmas music starting in July, the season is still stressful. There's more social obligations. There may be some financial stress as you're trying to provide presence and a good experience for your family. Bottom line is there's stress, even if it's positive. We can't change this unless you quit the holidays. I quit. So this is a time of the year that we just have to be super diligent about keeping everything in balance. So how can you put this concept into play over the upcoming weeks? If you have a week where you can't get to the gym as much as you normally do, just lower your food intake. If you're somebody who's deeper into our habits and you normally eat four or five times a day, maybe you reduce the portion or you just cut one of those meals out. Lower activity, lower food intake. If you're somebody who's ramping up your exercise because it is a stressful season and that's how you de-stress, make sure the nutrition follows. I'm not asking people to try to be super strict on their nutrition during a tough time of year. All I'm saying is if you're gonna move a lot and you're gonna exercise a little more intense or a little more frequently than usual, just make sure you follow basic nutrition habits, focus on giving yourself enough nutrients for recovery rather than focusing on what to take out of your diet. 